Hello, I'm retired Air Force veteran Ed Ruckel. In this instructional video, I will identify seven troubleshooting tips you can use to improve your next VA video connection and overall VA patient experience. We all know how things can go bump in the night, and uh, here are seven tips to get you out of that problem. I've asked my friends at the VA to help me along here. They've produced a great video on this, so I'm going to let them tell the story, and then I'll be back towards the end, okay? Let's get started. VA Video Connect Troubleshooting Tips Tip number one. Problem. I can't find my VA Video Connect appointment email. Solution. Refresh your email inbox. If the message still doesn't appear, check your spam folder and search for do not reply at mobilehealth.va.gov or vhatmp scheduling at va.gov. You can also ask your VA care team to resend the appointment email. Tip number two. Problem, my appointment link won't work. Solution, check the appointment date and time listed in the email. You may not be able to access the virtual medical room before your scheduled appointment time. You cannot use links for past VA Video Connect sessions. You will receive a new email invitation for each appointment. If the appointment link brings you to an error message or a message requesting a PIN, close the browser. Then open a new browser page and try the link again. You can also ask your VA care team to resend the link. Tip number three. Problem? The virtual medical room page won't load in the browser. Solution. Install and use the Google Chrome web browser to best access the virtual medical room. To download Google Chrome, visit google.com slash chrome. If you are already using Google Chrome, go to Settings privacy and security, clear browsing data. Then choose a time range of data history to clear out. Clear the browsing data and restart the browser. Tip number four, problem. The virtual medical room takes a long time to load. Solution, check the internet connection on your device. If you are using cellular data, move closer to a window or away from the center of the building to improve signal strength. If using Wi-Fi, move closer to the router. Close the browser and try again. Visit the test site before your appointment to confirm that your setup works. See the link in the video description. Tip number five. Problem. I cannot hear or speak to my provider. Solution. After connecting to the virtual medical room, choose a microphone from the drop-down list. When on-screen messages prompt you to enable camera and microphone access, select Allow. If a prompt does not pop up, check the microphone permission settings for your browser or device. Additionally, check that your volume is turned up and your microphone is not muted. Confirm that the correct microphone is selected in the settings. For more information about changing your device's camera and microphone permissions, visit mobile.va dot gov slash app slash va dash video dash connect. Tip number six. Problem. I cannot see myself or my provider on the screen. Solution. After connecting to the virtual medical room, choose a camera from the drop-down list. When on-screen messages prompt you to enable camera and microphone access, select allow. If a prompt does not pop up, Check the camera permission settings for your browser or device. Confirm that your camera is on and that nothing is blocking the camera lens. Also, check that the camera icon at the bottom of the page is on. Make sure that the correct camera is selected in the virtual medical room settings. Tip number seven. Problem. The video picture freezes or audio cuts in and out. Solution. Check your internet connection. Close all computer or mobile applications not being used. If you are using cellular data, move closer to a window or away from the center of the building to improve signal strength. If using Wi-Fi, sit next to the router or move your device closer to the router. Still need help? Call the Office of Connected Care Help Desk 
at 866-651-3180 or 703-234-4483. This concludes my presentation. From the information presented, you learned seven troubleshooting tips that you can use to recover from problems that you may have while trying to connect with your healthcare team. To learn how to recover from each of the problems, move the playhead to the time marker shown in the red. This is known as scrubbing. For example, tip number one, I can't find my VA Video Connect appointment email. Then you would just scrub the head to 11. Tip number 2. My appointment link won't work. Scrub to 42. Tip 3. The virtual meeting room or medical room page won't load in the browser. Scrub to 1 minute and 18 seconds for the solution. Tip number 4. The virtual medical room takes a long time to load. Scrub up to 1 minute 51 seconds and they'll give you a solution. Tip number five, I can't hear or speak to my provider. Scrub to two minutes and 20 seconds. Tip number six, I can't see myself or provider on the screen. Scrub to three minutes and nine seconds. Tip number seven, the video picture freezes or audio cuts in and out. Scrub up to three minutes and 47 seconds to solve the problems. I'm going to create a little video that demonstrates how to scrub back and forward, so watch for it. I'm going to put it uh, as another video following this video, okay? To learn more, stay current, and stay connected, join the team. Visit www.veteranfacilitator.com. Complete the Join the Team form and I'll put you on the list and keep you informed of future events and all the things that are happening to keep you current.